Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included, and our 39th episode, looking to go towards a new colony soon, uh, next episode probably the last one, and, and we're gonna use all of our newfound knowledge and employ it in the new colony, because that's what you do with this game. You know, there's, there's, the, the colony's not hideous, it's not ugly here, we'll even zoom out a little bit. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful work. But, uh, we're on cycle 526, and I think we could do better. We could get farther, have better systems in place, and all around just do a better job. So, we're gonna move on to a new one, but we, we wanna test out a few things. We're in oxygen and included spaced out, come on. We gotta, we gotta go to space. So... That is one of my priorities today, is uh, setting up our rocket. Whether we'll actually get to space or not is uh, is up for debate, but we are going to continue to move in that general direction. So, we just need to set up a couple of, uh, you know, things, things here so that they actually, you know, b begin that process. And we'll take a look at the map here together, and I believe, yep, there's the button. Ooh, there is, that, that's going to go foom soon. Um, but we've got a sandy ore field and we have curdle. So, you know, trying to decide what I suppose the next steps are. I'm thinking I'm going to go do the rocket first. And then maybe we have the other option of using the teleporters down, down here to send somebody off. So we could do another test that way. And, you know, it, it, most of the base is pretty well balanced. We've dealt with a bunch of problems, a bunch of chaos. Um, and I think really this has been a, a good test run experience to find out all of the, 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 the ways of the game or most of them. And next we're going we're gonna to start fresh and, and do some of the, the harder things. Also, something else I want to do, because we've, we've done this one. And we have one left, so I feel like doing the Amber Fossil may be, uh, may be in the cards as well. I just need to decide how to deal with killing this thing. It's, uh, it's a consideration I have, um, and I have some ideas as to how to do it. So actually, let me just see if I can, for the germs, the germs are... Pretty bad, but I have a few ideas as to how we can deal with this shit. I'm thinking Weezwort, number one, one of my number one solutions. Um, so we're going to try that. We're going to try out if radiation will kill the germs off. And then if it does kill the germs off, we will use... Um, we're going to use water or dig it out from underneath or something of that sort so we're, we're, we're gonna get it done it's just one of those things that has been taking a little bit of time to get to because i have not necessarily had the confidence to deal with it now i'm an animal i don't care we're doing it also we do need more water in there and this area is still suffering after my heating debacle it is still <laughs> Uh, still killing me a bit inside, still killing me. The petroleum is going out at 30, and it is staying around 30. What is it going in at? 40? It's at least collecting heat, but shit. God damn, I did, I did a mistake in there. I did a very, it was cool, and then I did bad. I did bad things. 0 to 10. Not go me. Sadness. So, okay, they've mostly dug things out. I do know that we can do this, actually. Just get those a little closer. Um, get these a little closer. The only thing I don't want is for there to be meteors because it will destroy shit. And uh, that wouldn't be great. I could build a bunker door, I suppose, right at the top to kind of defend it. But that, like, also isn't exactly in my... It's not in my job description. You know what I mean? Okay, let me pause. I will put one down just just in case we get anything down. It, it's fine. They'll they'll build it. Who is trapped? Steve. Steve may actually perish. That would be a hilarious way to end. Okay, no, no, not those ones. Those ones. Okay, he's good. 
he's good. I'm not surprised that that happened. That whoops, that does uh, that does tend to happen sometimes. People tend to uh, to do some stupid shit like that. Steve, you fucker, why why are you doing this to me? You're you're breaking the system. You're trying to kill yourself. I'm not for it, Steve. This was not this is not in the contract. You're not allowed. All right, we're gonna close that off. Also, I mean, another solution, I suppose, we could get them to just build these bunker tiles, too. Which actually we'll do there, just for safety purposes, and then, and that's fine. Who said we needed to use steel for anything else? What else is entombed? This building. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Alright, perfect. And so, power, no power consumers, but you don't need electricity. No, you don't. You don't need electricity in there. Also, are you full of sugar? Is it literally... It legitimately just needs... <laughs> Not the most stylish way to travel space, but certainly the tastiest. Fair enough. Uh, so I guess they filled it with sugar already? Just looking at things, I, I pretty well have everything unlocked. I did just go into research and select to research um, this right here, which is battery and a solar panel and power outlet fitting. And, you know, it, 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 I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Provides power to, pulls power from battery modules and rocket engines. So that would be if I was to arrive somewhere and want to drop things off. Now, I was wondering, it doesn't really appear that there's a mining um situation i thought there was some sort of miner i could build on it but maybe i'm mistaken i could be wrong but i'm in the you know i'm in the the rocket section and i don't i don't see anything so i i thought there was something but maybe i'm just incorrect we'll just go through this as well um delivers cargo there's the command module so really i mean maybe i could even just slam that on and send somebody out um, rover deployment available while in star map. Uh, was a rover bot for exploration. That maybe we just do that to be honest. Um, engine power. You know what? Maybe I just put that in because there's uh, there's also this enables travel to planetoids that do not yet have a rocket platform and then kind of a gas. Allows duplicates to store some of the gas resources found during space exploration. There's also this one. Oh, uh, nope, just this one, sorry. Um, yeah, I mean... I'm thinking the rover could just be fascinating. Let me just grab the rover. Let's put that on there, and we will build it out of... What is that? High thermal. We're not doing that. We're gonna do iron. We're gonna we're gonna make the whole thing out of iron as well, and then um, delivers cargo. But can you now take cargo? Maybe I'll just maybe I'll keep it simple. Maybe we'll just keep it simple. Do a nice small rocket. A nice a nice tiny rocket. Let me actually swap this for a different. We will do a. Is that a cargo module? Orbital cargo module. There's no other cargo option. It's just that one. Let's just do that. And then we'll put a nose cone on top. Okay, good. There we go. All right. Perfect. So there's the plan. There's the scheme. Is there any... Is there a cargo option in here? If I search up cargo, I feel like that should be... These should pop up when I'm in rockets. But look. It doesn't pop up. That's so weird. That's so strange. That should really pop up because if I go cargo, I knew there was a cargo option. And there's the drill cone. Yeah, see, so we can drill there. There's interplanetary. Yeah, that's fair enough. Large cargo bay. There you go. There's a large cargo bay. There's a small cargo bay. Um, I should be researching this one instead of... The, well, actually, I should research that one and then that one. So what, we're, what we'll do is we'll actually remove that module. Sorry, remove the top one. Are we... Hello? Remove. Can I cancel it? Oh, I can cancel it. Okay. And we'll cancel that one. And we'll do the two researches. We'll get the uh, the solar panels and the other. And then I think we'll be good. I think we'll be fine. 
And then we need a little bit of steel for the gantry, and of course my steel generation situation is no longer functional, mostly because of what happened. Uh, hmm. I really don't want to have to build a new steel thing. I've sorted it. I have built, well, I've, I've planned a bunch of piping. So we can at least make a little bit more steel. We won't have it do the same nonsense that it did do, which was, uh, you know, this. Ah, look, we're cooling it down again. Look at us go. Did that actually work? The coolant? Oh, good. It's actually going out at 17 now instead of fucking 70. Amazing. And then when you're going past here, so it, it's at, say, 24. And then after it hits all of that, Okay, so it's cooling all of this down too? Just a little, kind of, sort of, maybe? It's fine. All right, so we got a little bit, we got some stuff sorted. We got some stuff kind of fixed up. Let's put these all on a nine so that they do them relatively speedily. Do them quickly. What? Where did you come from? Now that's interesting. Solid nuclear waste. Huh. I'm surprised you exist. Disease. Germs. Radioactive contaminants. You know, radioactive, are low levels of radiation that, are ca that can cause radiation sickness. Yeah, that's fine, but degrade over time. All right. And solid nuclear waste. Liquid nuclear waste if it gets to over 26 degrees okay all right we'll have to be very careful with that otherwise it will leach into this but this is still a fucking shit show it says it's cold it is not it is, we're destroying it we're making it even worse actually part of it not my fault part of it my fault I will admit it's fine uh, yeah give me the fishies <laughs> We'll see the fishies drop down in there again, like they do all the time. And then as per the water, what has happened here? Oh, okay, fair enough. I'll give you that. Uh, we will need to adjust that at some point because this steam vent is not, uh, it's not doing the trick. It's not doing the trick. It can't sustain everything the way that I was hoping, but it's fine. And now you, you, my little friend, my little buddy, my little partner, we are going to, uh, we're going to just resolve a couple of issues with you here, and that is food. We're going to put a quick farm tile right here, actually. And we will readjust these and put them here because how I did it was silly, and it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is good. Good and fine. So we'll have them do that. I'm not really... I would like it to be on maybe a 7 so that there's some semblance of urgency. That way we can make sure we do it this episode or, or our next episode. And our critters are starving. That's fine. I don't really care for those ones. They can die. All right. Good. So the sugar engine is good. The research is fine, I'm hoping. I'm hoping fine. How much is there? Where did you... I've never had solid nuclear waste before actually come out of this. So it's interesting that it happened. Um, maybe it's because it's wasting stuff? Also, what's happening? Oh, okay. Fair enough. So it's a hydrogen issue? Okay, still a hydrogen issue. So... Hmm. See, this is my other problem. It's a power problem. It always happens. It happens. It happens sometimes. It happens sometimes. Let's just do this. It's okay. I didn't want to do it, but I had to do it. It's fine. Um, and then we're going to turn this back on. Ooh, and you're actually full. Wait a second. Okay, so that means that you can stop running. Because you're not even cooling the base anyway. And so, once that happens, all of these germs will die, maybe? 
uh, unfortunately, there's no radiation in here anymore. So I'm a little screwed. Just a smidge. It's, it's okay. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. It'll clean up all of that. This will just continue to cool down and everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, folks. Thumbs up. No worries. No stresses. That's, that's how we have to live our life. No stressing allowed. Zero out of ten. I made some mistakes. Whoops. That's the in. Son of a bitch. Oh my god. And that's the out. Oh, heavens. Okie dokie. Right? That's the out? Or is that the out? Where is the out for this thing? I don't even know. All I know is it took heat damage and broke. However, did it make more steel? It did make more steel, you know? That means that we're good. It means that we're great, even. Um, so let's put a... Oh, fuck. I don't know how long this... I don't know how tall it's going to be. What, we're researching... Solar panels. I don't think I'm going to put batteries, actually, on it. So maybe I don't even... I don't know. Maybe we don't even... We don't even do that one. Because we're not going to use any power. Maybe we just have them research that. I'll be a schemer. I'll be a schemer and a, and, a, and a dreamer. How many ratties do you have, my boy? So, 16. Okay. So it took me, I don't even know how many, he went through those so quickly. Um, unfortunately, we don't have enough power to, to, to do all of the good work that I know that I wanna do. Um, how are you doing? You doing all right? You seem to have quite a bit of juice near you. So I'm thinking if above 2,000. And now that will restock us a little bit better. Just between, you know, you and I. I would like to remove some of the gas from in here, though. Because uh, this is a little bit ridiculous. What is going on with this one? Is it pumping well? It seems to be doing the trick properly. That's that's all that matters to me. That's all that matters to me. Well! Colony achievement earned! I was unaware that meteor showers were even happening. So, thankfully, that's just protecting... Yeah, that's fine. Thankfully, I did build that, and I protected the land. Um, 10 out of 10, go us. Let me just check here the temperature. The temperature's fine. Do we see anything? Do we see nothing? I everything's good. Everything's good even. Ha, ha, fantastic. It's doing fantastic even. 10 out of 10, some might say. Um, these slimes kindly know. Kindly know. The temperature of the slime is, uh, is good. Is good. So that's nice. Eventually we'll have to clear this out, but that's all. Every, everything's, everything's good. Everything's good. It's golden. Golden. Okay, so we've officially changed the temperature of the water that's allowed to go in to 40. So it will make the process a little bit faster because the water will have to go through there a couple less times. And uh, yes, it will cause some liquid issues temperature-wise. But unfortunately, we're in a situation where we need more water. And water is... It's a priority to have water rather than have a good temperature of water. So that's, that's where we're at now. 40 is fine. It would be nice if it was lower, but it is what it is. We'll just have to occasionally swap it. That is fine. So, yeah, because eventually we'll dump this in and that'll, that'll balance it out a little bit. We're mostly just waiting for all of the germs to die off. As you can see, the germs are just going to die off by themselves. Would I have preferred it to be killed by my people? Yes. Yes, I would have. I would have preferred it to be killed off by the Weezwarts, but alas... I, I don't make the rules anymore. I don't even semi make the rules anymore. Um, let's put in a wheeze wart, and I'm assuming you can't do it because there's liquid there, and that is honestly just fine. I'm going to do this, and I will have them put that at a nine, and put that at a nine, and we'll, we'll be fine. It'll be fine. Well, that's pretty concerning. Damn. Um, it is a mess down here. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm, I'm making them dig this stuff out so more uh, crude oil goes down here because I noticed this is a little bit scary. And I don't know what the hell's going on here. 
but it's also improper. It's also improper. There's also a lot of oil over here for whatever reason. So anyways, we're doing that. We'll sort this. Let's see here. Um, what exactly is the problem? Is the problem that I just didn't connect the wiring? Oh, that is actually genuinely the issue. So if I just do this, just casually like this, and get them to do that at priority nine, and I can actually cancel that one out, is that, and what is the power like on this system? Oh, okay, that's totally fine. The potential load is terrible, but the actual general load is, is pretty good. So that'll go, it'll pump the liquid over to here. Did they... Oh, come on, you're so close. Build the thing. Um, and then the liquid will run into here and go in there and do do the magical stuff. There is unfortunately salt water in here and liquid that's pretty hot, but they'll, they'll figure it out. How is the temperature here? Yeah, see, wow, look at that go. And all of the water is held very well in here and the uh, the food poisoning is, is also in there. But that's that's all good. That this This is actually, this is something I will probably miss later on is the fact that this exists here um, and is able to uh, to do this task. And I, you know, like when I move on to a new map, I think I'd just be a little saddened by the fact that it won't, it would no longer be there, but it's all good. We're gonna have better scenarios anyway with uh, with more, you know, we'll be able to figure everything else out so much faster. So I'm glad that this is here. Um, it would actually be really good too in the future if I really needed water to use that for, you know, you know, clean up the water and set it up out here. And the germs in here, it kills me, but it's fine. It's something else that would be figured out. Just out of curiosity, food poisoning would be killed at minus 25, which is kind of insane because it freezes at 06. Damn, okay, and how is it going over here? We're not pushing that too high up, are we? No, okay, good, and over here, this is cleaning up really well as well. Um, what about you? Are you not, oh, you're probably not running because there's no point in you running. Well, it's all good, it's all good. We've completed our research for the, the big boy things, and what I'm gonna do in the meantime is we will set ourselves up. We will research this. We're probably not gonna use it, but it's all good. And we're going to go throw a cargo module on this and uh, see what we can do here. Uh, rocket tree. No, sorry, I don't need to do it there. It is the next and a new module. And it will be a cargo bay. And you will be made out of uh, gold? Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> Let's do copper. It should be fine, right? And just one last check here. Um, cargo is fine, but is there a miner or anything? No, it doesn't look like it. That's okay then. And then one last thing. So while they're doing that, are there any jetpack things that I'm able to make? What were those? Uh, what were those called? They were called jet things, right? What are the jet? Jet, uh, I don't even remember. Uh, where, 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 where? Ah, there we go. I was confused. Um, okay, we don't have it unlocked. That's fine. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. They'll be fine. And listen, if our little, if the person we sent out dies, it is what it is. And it's gonna be Steve. <laughs> Probably sending out Steve because Steve is our best, our brightest. And the man who will do whatever we tell him to do. So, sadly, I think, you know, Steve, my god. That's fun. Um, Steve, my guy, I'm sorry, you will die. So, alright. One more module on top, and that's going to be the, um, the solo spacefarer nose cone for the one man who will go. And that one man will likely be Steve. So we're going to throw those on a nine. We're going to have them build it. And we're just going to smile. And say, I'm sorry, Steve. You're going to die. So that's that's just uh, it is what it is. It just happens that way. Right, scaffolding across the rockets allows duplicates to access. It's going to be right there. 
Um, where do I click on here and the rocket anywhere? And like, we just researched, right? We just researched the thing, the thing that we all know. Why am I doing it this way? Just click on the thing. Space power. So battery module, solar panel module. So had I actually been wanting to, it would have been a solar panel module. Let's have them. They're going to build that up. They're going to build it out. They're going to build it up. Unreachable build. You know, I don't, I don't think it is. I really, really, really don't think, I don't feel like those are unreachable builds. Oh, they are. Never mind. Fair enough. Fair enough. We'll get it fixed up right now. Get that one fixed up as well. All right. We're, we're almost done with the rocket. But we do need to teleport somebody out to the other planetoid. And uh, I think it's time to find a sacrifice. So we could either do Liam or Catalina. And uh, what's so funny about this is um, a skilled super duper hard, hard digger. Um, but she has decreased excavation. So that's just... So that's just all sorts of silly. Um, but then we've got this guy who can't do research and has terrible agriculture. And uh, But he's got strength in construction. Uh, Liam, Liam, you're coming with me. All right. We're going to let you come around the colony for a little bit, walk around a few days, and then I'm sending you off to go die. He he will probably die. Um, in fact, more than likely, he will, he will in fact perish. So, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Also, can we confirm... Rocket power, 16. Cargo bay. Is there is there an issue here? Like, are we... Is there a ranged problem? Like, your sugar engine. Are you ready, sugar engine? Burn sucrose. Sucrose is just the solid. And I've got a bunch of sucrose, right? Let's just make sure we, we actually collected sucrose. Sucrose. Eh? Total. I don't know where it is, though. Where where does it be? It's probably all in there. It looks... When I built this, it was empty. I just didn't see them fill it up, and I'm a little confused about some stuff. Um, okay, so launch checklist is incomplete. What exactly is the current issue? Sufficient... Sufficient oxidizer. Does not have enough oxidizer to reach its destination. Um, also, somebody dig that, please. Yeah, there you go. Somebody fill that bad boy up. We're going to load it up with stuff. Um, does this one have any view interior? Hello. Uh, fascinating. I didn't know. It's fun that I can see inside this. Um... Can I build stuff in here? Oh, that's actually kind of terrifying. I hope I don't have to. Steve may just die. I think it's decided that Steve might die. I'm going to have to give them food? I don't know. Okay. All right. See, we got a lot. So maybe we do need to do some additional things. Let's Let's just see here. Um, clear the launch pad. I'm assuming I need those things cleared. And maybe, um, the door open. No power wire detected. Yeah, okay. In case anybody's wondering, it apparently takes a full, I think it's a full cycle to open that. Um, which is fine. Unless it has power, then it's, then it's like quick things. So, I think... Unpowered, it's really slow. Maybe it needs to be connected to the power line. Whoops. Oh, no. See, it is opening. But we'll we'll try and hook it up to the power line anyway. Okay. So, the small oxidizer tank is good. Um, how... So, let's see. Can I... Are we good? Technically, it just needs a destination. And the launch pad to be cleared. And I'm assuming the launch pad being cleared is that bunker door being moved. Oh, see, it can go. Bucket. I have a destination sent. 
Uh, Set, how is there a, 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 a time associated with that or nah? I really hope there is. I don't know though. I really don't. Um, insufficient oxygen generation. I call bullshit. See, you went away immediately. Everything's fine. And let's just check down here as well one last time before we do some more nonsense. It's good. It's good. Everything's good down here. There's even a little lock there of three different liquids. Because that's how it's done. This thing produces so much water. Oh my gosh. I just wasn't anticipating at any point that it would produce quite as much liquid as it's producing. But I love it. It is fantastic. It's going to be great to have all of this liquid at our disposal. Um, because look, this is doing a fantastic job. This is just 10 out of 10. That's going to get filled up and we're going to be good. We're going to be golden. So I'm really pleased about all of it. Now, back up top to review what's going on. Liquid all there. This is, uh, this looks to be... This looks to be ready. This looks to be ready. Is it time, folks, to send somebody on their way? Rocket platform could I'm not doing it. We're not we're not going anywhere. We're just exploring. Um That's an optional. Pilot just needs to board. And we're good. What I do think we may want to do one final thing is a solar. Well, maybe actually just, let's just do a battery module. What does that do? Can I build a battery module on this? I really didn't want to, but if I got to, I'll do it. No, okay. Can't be done. It is what it is, it can't be done. I'm committing. I'm committing to this, which is sending Steve out with no food. Or, what if we don't send Steve, actually? What if we send, where is she? Where's the one that eats radiation? It's Ellie, isn't it? No, Ellie's the one that provides radiation. It's Bubbles. Bubbles, Bubbles, Bubbles. Let me review your skills, dearest Bubbles, and see, can you pilot it? Now you can. <laughs> now you can. I'm sorry, Bubbles, but you are the victim today, is 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 the, the victim of my, my tests. Um, it looks like in the interior I could probably build some stuff up. I'm going to assume maybe, I don't know, maybe put food in there. I don't actually know entirely how it works. What I may do is build a storage bin. Can someone build that really quickly? And let's just see if anyone is going to be doing it. Current Turner is allegedly going to be doing it. Go build that up, Turner. Uh, and I'm gonna throw a little bit of food in there, and that's it. That's gonna be it. And then we're gonna launch this thing. I'm kind of scared. I'm excited. I'm feeling a, a lot of emotions about the situation. But most importantly, I'm ill-prepared. <laughs> most importantly, I am ill-prepared. I think we all know that I'm ill-prepared. I'm always ill-prepared. And we're just cleaning it up a little bit so it looks good because that's what we care about. We care about looks, not functionality. That's only for you. Now, viewing the interior, this is set. So what we're going to do is we're going to do is we're not going to put food in here. I need to build a refrigerator, I guess, or a ration box. There we go. That's what I needed, a ration box. And so ultimately, this is not how you're supposed to do this process, okay? Nobody come at me. Don't do it. I'm just a nice. I'm just. I'm just here for a, a little. A little time here. It's all good. Don't worry. I know this is crazy. Um, and I don't want them to take. Uh, I'm gonna have to sit somebody up with an exosuit, and I don't want them to take the suit off. This is kind of the thing. So there is going to be a vacuum here. I just want. Um, hoping they put some bristle berries in there. Um, that's the plan anyway. You, Bubbles, shall consume your food. Uh, my little test subject. And then once you're done, once I see you complete your task, up here you go. Alright? And now it is time, it is time to begin. Undock the suit. Bubbles, my dearest friend. Here you go. 
Go put that on. Do it. You're ready for space bubbles. You're ready for space. You gotta come up here. We gotta view the rocket. We gotta see everything that's about to happen here. Bubbles, you are our... You're, you're our future, Bubbles. That's what we're hearing. You're the future. This isn't a terrible idea. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's fine. But most importantly, Bubbles, you are the queen of the land. And I'm seeing... Just Let's just quickly look at the interior here. It looks like you have some food in here, which is great. Um, I don't know if anybody's actually gonna be... No pending deliveries. Um, if I made that... The urgent, the urgent item, including you, um, Bubbles. When I come out here, are you? Is that what you're after? But everybody's gonna go. Everybody's gonna be filling this up with with stuff. Top priority: current errand for everyone. Oh my goodness! I got a little bit of lag there. Holy shit! Look at them all preparing for her journey. Oh my goodness! Everybody's, everyone's helping her out. We're all prepping. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I cannot wait. I'm so excited to launch the Jupiter 11 rocket, even though this is our first rocket. Um, let's see. How is it going? Okay, now we're going to go in there, and I'm just going to view the interior, and we're going to... Uh... Yeah, that's fine. We're just going to change it from an emergency to a 9, and then go back out here and take a quick gander. See if... If we're good, where is Bubbles at? Okay, I've made Bubbles unequip the suit mostly because I want to move her. Uh, well, I want her to actually re equip the clothes that I just told her to take off. Okay, redo that. Put that on. And then, my dear, dearest Bubbles, now you will be test subject. We're doing the test subject portion now of the program. Go over there. This is it. This is the moment of truth, Bubbles. Now I will send you away. Put in the suit. Okay. Now we're gonna send you all the way up here. Cause you're, you're, you're doing the launch. You're doing it. It's happening. There she is. Oh, we gotta watch her in this mode. Look at her go. She's going, she's going up. She's going in. She is the, the one that will be sent. All right, crew. Uh, all duplicates can enter. Now it is crew only. Do y'all understand? You want to know who the crew is? The crew is the singular Bubbles. Could I actually put two on? I could, but it's just Bubbles. Okay, Bubbles, it's your moment to shine. Let's just push play here and uh, witness her going in to the rocket. All right, Bubbles, the, the moment of truth. The moment of truth. We will enter... We must view the interior bubbles. I'm sorry, my friend. You you may you may die. However, it is a risk I am willing to take for what I am what I am doing here. All right. Well, time to test if I kill bubbles. And um begin launch sequence. Damn. There goes all my sugar. Oh. We're launching. We're going. Oof. Goodbye, Bubbles. Goodbye. Well then. Hello. What is all of this? Who is that? Is that water? From the launch? Hey, we launched our first rocket into space. That an entry log's calculation is complete as expected or asteroid estimated mass from the planet. And uh, we earned a colony achievement, which was send somebody into space. Launch your first dupe into space. That is absolutely phenomenal. Now, um, interestingly enough, there is an abundance of um, kind of gas going on here now. A lot of carbon dioxide was created. A lot of hydrogen was created. I did see some liquid. I think it was because I melted a bunch of shit. Uh, but there we go. Beautiful. I think we've done... Oh my gosh. And a heat issue as well. Um, yeah, that's going to be kind of destroyed there. What were you made out of? Iron. Yeah, that'll do the trick. So, 
there we go. We broke a bunch of wires in the process, eh? Is that what happened too? We melted, oh my god. We melted the wires out, uh, out in its entirety. So, good, that's a lesson learned too. That's pretty good. Um, log entry. Expected asteroid, yeah, okay. And uh, Jupiter, hi. What are you, are you doing anything? Like if I, not available in flight, okay. You're just chilling in there. You're probably gonna die, actually. Oh, she's gonna die. How am I supposed to keep her alive? Can I, can I recall it? We have an emergency escape system. The rocket self-destruct sequence. Any duplicates will be safely delivered in escape pods. I think bubbles may die. Can I change the destination? So I could have it return. Can't travel there, can't land there. Okay, so here's what I've learned. One, very fun. Two, um, Bubbles will die. We have to bring her back immediately. Uh, right, okay, yep, we gotta bring her back. Change this. We have to make the return trip immediately, and uh, hopefully she can make it back. Vacuum space exposure, so odd. Gas. So we would need to... But what is this? The gas spacefarer output port? So it would bring gas in here. So if I had loaded up oxygen, for instance, did I land already? She did land back. Okay, fantastic. Hey, listen, I know we didn't achieve anything in that, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied. Why did that break? I created a lot of heat, way more heat than I was actually anticipating, but that's fine. Again, lessons learned. That was actually a really good test for me to do. Now I know a little bit uh, a little bit about that. I wouldn't be surprised if the platform actually melted as well. And so next time around, we're going to send somebody through the teleporter and take a little look at that. But I think I think we achieved what, uh, everything I wanted to achieve, and I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. So there you go. If you folks did enjoy this episode, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to leave any comments with tips, hints, or suggestions down below. I love to hear from you, and you're super duper helpful. And, you know, maybe some hints uh, around rockets. I, I obviously need to do a little bit more research, but I've learned quite a bit just from testing it out. And obviously, they need uh, suits going forward, going up there. But... It's all good to know. We're going to be starting a new colony after next week's episode. And let me know what you want to see. Maybe let me know an, with the asteroid type what you think would be fun. And I'm, I'm more than happy to do a little bit of research too. So thank you all for watching throughout and, and witnessing my failures and successes. And as always, thank you for stopping by. Happy you did. And I'll see you next time.